Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Network Training for Beginners videos. This episode starts with the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial, which will talk about the Cisco Packet Tracer's basic features. But before we start, I want to talk about the computer network by itself, because the first task in understanding how to build a computer network is defining what a network is and understanding how a network used to help a business to meet its objectives. A computer network is a connected collection of devices and end systems. These devices and end systems can be the computers, servers, printers. These end devices and systems can communicate with each other to share the information and resources. As you can see in this picture, a network can carry data in many types of environments, including our homes, small businesses and large enterprises. In large enterprises, a number of locations might need to communicate with each other may be different, and we can describe this location as follows. A main office is a site where everyone is connected via a network and where the bulk of corporate information is located. In main office, usually we have our main servers, our main database and information, and uh, maybe the hundred or thousand users who are dependent on network access to do their jobs. A main office might use a several connected network which can span many floors in an office building or cover a campus that contains several buildings. Beside the main office, we have a remote locations. The remote locations can categorize in branch offices and home offices. First, branch offices. In branch offices, smaller group of people work and communicate with each other via a network, although some corporate information might be stored at the branch office. It's more likely that branch offices have a local network resources, such as their own printers, but must access to the information directly from the main offices. Another type of remote locations are home offices. When individual works from their home, the location is called the home office. Nowadays you can see the more home offices because the people like to work from the outside of the company and from their home. Home office workers often require on-demand connection to the main or branch offices to access information or to use a network resources such as a file server. When a home user wants to access to the specific file on the branch or main office must have a connectivity to their offices. And another type of remote location is a mobile users. Mobile users connect to the main office network, which is the main office at the branch office or traveling. The network access needs of mobile users are based on where the mobile users are located. Here we have the common physical components of networks. PCs, switches, routers, and interconnections. By the way, uh, depends on the size of the network, the number and size of these components may vary, but most computer networks consist of the basis con these basic components, which are shown in this picture. Personal computer or PCs, the PC serves as an endpoint in networks, Nowadays, you can see the mobile phones, the all other devices which are used act as an end system in our network environments. Interconnection, uh, which is consists of comp components that provide a means for data to travel from one point to another point in the network. The interconnections can be the, includes the NIC network interface cards that translate the data product by the computer into the format that can be transmitted over the local network. And network media, such as a cable or wireless media of the air, that provides a means 
by which the signals are transmitted from one network device to another. And finally, the connectors that provide the connection points for the media. Another component of the networks are switches. Switches are devices that provide network attachment to the end system and intelligent switches of the data within the local networks. Usually, switches are work in the layer 2 of OSI model. And uh, routers. Finally, the routers are interconnected network and choose the best path between networks. After this brief description of the networking, we are going to work with the Cisco Packet Tracer. OK. After opening the Cisco Packet Tracer, you will see this logical working environment. Here, the Cisco Packet Tracer helps you to simulate different network scenarios. And in this section, you will see different categories for network devices, such as the different routers, switches, the hubs, as well as the wireless devices. Besides that, the Cisco Packet Tracer helps you to simulate different types of connections for your network, such as a console cable, different type of the copper, straight through, or crossover cable, as well as different fiber connections and the serial connection for your WAN simulation. End devices also provide access to the PCs, servers, laptops, and all other type of end devices on your network. The WAN emulation helps you to simulate the WAN connections such as a DSL or frame relay clouds. You can use this section to simulate those kind of WAN emulations. In this scenario, I'm going to show you how to connect two devices within your network. To do that, you just need to select the end devices and drag one PC on your working environment or click on a device and then click on your working environment. As you can see, we add one PC and one laptop to our working environment. Now it's time to choose the proper connection for that. To do that, click on connection. And because these two devices are similar and both of them are the PC computer, you have to select the crossover copper cable. Click on it, go to the PC Fast Ethernet, drag the cable to the other machines, laptops, fast internet, and just click. And as you can see, there are two small green circles which shows that the physical layer of the connection is working fine. But these two devices are still unable to communicate to each other because we don't set any IP address. To set the IP address is very easy. You just need to click on a PC. The new windows will be open. In the physical tab, you will see the all modules and uh, devices which connect on this PC, such as different cards and different modules. Like a real-world PC, you can add or remove these modules or cards. Let's say, for example, you want to add the one wireless card to this PC. Easily, you can do this with the packet tracer. To set the IP address, please go to the config tab. And under the Fast Ethernet interface, you can type whatever IP address and subnet mask you want, or you can choose a DHCP to automatically gain the IP address. The other way to set the IP address is going to the Desktop tab and select the IP configuration. In a new Windows, you can type the proper IP address for this scenario. I type it 192.168.0.1 and for the subnet mask, easily the packet tracer detects that your IP address is a class C. So provide the default subnet mask for that IP address. You also can do the modify type whatever sub subnet mask you want. In this scenario, no need. Also, we don't need any default gateway or DNS server in this scenario. By closing these windows, the IP will save on this PC. To verify that, just need to bring your mouse cursor over the PC and you can see in the summary windows the link is up and IP address is set as we said 192.168.0.1
do the same process for a laptop. Click on a laptop on then this window, click on a desktop tab, click on IP configuration, type the IP address for this machine 192.168.0.2 for subnet mask. 255.255.255.0 no need any default gateway or DNS server close and close verifying 192.168.0.2 is set successfully now it's a time to check the connection between these two machines like a real environment you can use the ping command just need to go to the command prompt of this laptop by clicking on it choose the command prompt the command prompt windows will appear and use the ping command ping the destination IP address in this scenario 192.168.0.1 just press enter and we've got some reply from our destination which shows that the connection is working properly you can do the same ping testing from the PC side by the way packet tracer provide this Add simple PDU features for you, which is a small envelope. When you click on it, you can choose your source machine, then choose your destination, and it will show you is the packet successfully transferred to destination or not. Just click on the destination, and you will see in these small windows that the last status was a successful, which means that communication was a successfully. We can try from the PC side. Click on the envelope, click on the source machine, and then click on destination, and it will be successful. Okay, in this scenario, you will learn how to add the simple machines on your working environment, provide the proper cable between them, set the IP address for both machines, and testing the communication between them. In further video, you will learn more about other network scenarios as well. Please leave your comments, subscribe on our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.